In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips on how to train your nose to be a better nose when it comes to picking out notes and perfume. Coming up. Tiff Benson here, welcome back to my channel. Today, this video was inspired by one of my fabulous patrons, Ezekiel Jackson, who asks, can you make a video on how to refine one's sense of smell? Half of the notes you or Brooklyn Fragrance Lover mention, I don't know how to sense at all when I smell a fragrance. Thank you so much for asking this question, but also I want to thank you for being a patron who supports this channel. For everyone else that's watching out there, I get asked so many questions on social media, but I want you to know that my Patreon family gets direct access to me and I love answering questions like these. So let's get into the first tip. First tip is to smell everything. Smell food, smell your clothes, smell your surroundings. Don't smell people because that can get weird. Try to have a hypersensitivity to everything that you smell around you. And as you smell them, try to take mental notes of what you're smelling. For example, if I'm walking down the beach, it's going to have a different smell than me taking a walk through the woods. See where I'm going? Number two. Check out the notes of your favorite perfumes that you love. So chances are, if you're not reading the notes of fragrances that you actually like, how in the hell would you know what's in it? So check out the notes and also make sure to see and note if there are any commonalities between fragrances that you love and notes that you might love. For example, you might find out that vanilla is a common thread in fragrances that you really like or bergamot is a common thread in each fragrance that you really like. Sniff those scents one by one and see if you can start to pinpoint or isolate each note as you go through and smell them. And once you've found the note, hopefully it's a tangible note that you can find in your environment like vanilla or leather or pepper. These are just some examples, but honestly, you're surrounded by notes that are in fragrance everywhere. The key is to take note, no pun intended, and pay attention. Number three, get familiar with your fragrance families. It's so important to understand fragrance families and to have an understanding of what fragrances are trying to do. Fougeres, gourmands, orientals, florals will help you determine what a fragrance is trying to smell like even before you smell it. For example, if I'm smelling a new scent and I see that it's listed as an aquatic, I already know that I'm going to find some aquatic notes in it like ambergris, sea salt, seaweed, musk, oceanic accords. You get the picture. Tip number four is to get to know your nose, not your actual nose, the nose behind the fragrances that you really love. Behind every fantastic scent is a really fabulous perfumer. Now, these perfumers, in my opinion, have a sort of DNA that follows them through their creative works. The more you're familiar with your perfumer, the more you can familiarize yourself with what you can expect from the perfumer, hence what you can expect from the fragrance. Let's think about it like this. If you had a favorite clothing designer, and let's say it's Gucci, so you know the cut, you know the look and the feel that Gucci creates, and that's why you subscribe to their brand. It's the same exact thing with master perfumers. More or less, you always know what you're going to get. And honestly, the perfumers are the rock stars behind fragrance. Just saying. And tip number five is practice makes perfect. The more you smell and the more you throw yourself into your fragrance journey, sniffing out different notes, the better you'll become at it, trust me. I do feel like some people are more inclined to have better noses, but at the end of the day, you can do anything you put your mind to, and once again, practice makes perfect. 
Leave a comment right now. Let me know if you thought this was helpful. And if you have any tips to share with us for people on their fragrance journey, learning how to refine their nose. The conversation continues over at the Fragrance Society, so be sure to check out the link in the description if you'd like to be a part of my private group. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and also subscribe if this is your first time here. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.